Hi friends! So today I'm going to do something a little different and I'm going to show you around my studio. I have the whole thing cleaned up and organized and it's a space that I love being in now. It used to stress me out a little bit because I'm the kind of person who will like let things accumulate, like I'll be fine with having a mess and I'll just work around it and work around it until one day I just want to burn it all down. <laughs> so I took some time and I organized and I planned and I got containers and it's awesome. So I want to take you on a tour of my studio. Okay, so here is the pen wall and the background that you all see um, during videos. This is, I've got like some frames and stuff under here and that's where my ring light is supposed to go. It's actually in the hallway right now. <laughs> Lucifer down there. And this is grid wall that I put up. That It's not done yet, but I'm happy with it. You can see kind of plans for <laughs> um, the next four months. I don't, I don't like to plan out too far in advance. So you see all the messes in November and December mostly. Um, but yeah, so up here I've got some strawberry news. I got those at Toy Joy because they know what I love. This is by a dear friend, Courtney Doom on Instagram. She made me an Animal Crossing character and I love it. Um, I'll put links down below to everyone. Um, this is for my friend Lila from a funny story I'll tell you guys about later. <laughs> a print from Nina. And this is a wood block that, or a lino cut really, that I did in college. I made, you'll see another one. I did three identical ones in uh, small, medium, and large. And this is my big one. I used to love printmaking. I wanted to be a printmaking major. But they didn't have anyone to teach the course in my college, so I didn't. Let's see. Prints. These are my little fairies. These are real cute. It doesn't want to focus. Um, they're like Polly Pockets, um, but not. <laughs> and I love them. You'll see more over there. We'll see more later. Um, little Neko Atsume, Hello Kitty Cafe, Sailor Moon, and I actually got to meet Lee Merriweather and Julie Newmar, and I lost my mind because I love Catwoman. <laughs> And it was amazing to meet them. Adam West was there too, and that was cool. Um, a print that my husband made for me when we got our GoCo machine. And then I made this felt banner for my very first blue genie. I love that. And yeah, I got people love my giant Pocky. I got it from uh, H Mart opened up here. And I went, and if you bought a whole bunch of Pocky, you got a free balloon. So of course I got a whole bunch of hockey. And then the glorious pin wall. I <laughs> expanded and you can see I'm already starting to overlap. Because <sighs> it's a problem. Okay, I'll take you through it. I've got rainbows, pastel rainbows, pink and tealy rainbows, more white and pastel-y. I hope you don't hear my tooting couch. White stuff. Do do, and then pastel pinks all <laughs> over here. And then I'll just get down. There's my blues, purples, into magenta, and then more pink, of course. <laughs> And then teals, into greens, into yellows, oranges and browns, and reds. And then I clearly need some more Harry Potter pens. I was overlapping like crazy on two boards, but it's not quite enough to fill out three. So I need more Potter pens. And then we've got kind of black and silver and gold stuff. And then these I didn't really know where to put. They're by um, Luna Soul, and they kind of have so many colors, they didn't really fit perfectly anywhere, so I made, gave them their own board. And then Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon. <laughs> 
and then some Ghibli stuff. Some of these are missing because they're on my bag, on my Eda bag. And now, down here, I keep all my new pens down here so I can do videos and pictures for you guys so you can see all the fun stuff. And then I've got some Harry Potter books. I've got others in my actual bedroom because I'm rereading. And then this is my show fanny pack. <laughs> I made this little um, deco den charm. And then a sweet customer gave me these, which I love. And then, yeah, I got matching ones for me and Libby. <laughs> Ooh, that's loud. They were from Target, the ice cream, ice, museum of ice cream and, uh, and Target collab. Also, there's a tissue back there, so that's cute. Um, and then uh, Undead D made this for me a long time ago. And then that's, I did a, when I used to do a DIY blog, I did a craft for, I think it was Fancy Feast. <laughs> um, and yeah, some cutie hats, a little sugar bones action, Polly Pocket, and my Twinkie Chan scarf. My husband got this for me our very first Valentine's Day, and I loved it. And that is before I even met Twinkie Chan, and now we're friends, and it's awesome. But yeah, and here's my couch. I knocked this over while I was showing pins. But again, Andy got these. My husband got these for me for my birthday, and I love them. I'm super into um, little twin stars right now. And I made this blanket. It took forever, and I love it. And then just fun pillows, Neko Atsume, Luna fell over, I love her. But yeah, this is where I sit and do all of my videos. All right, cute sprinkles, funfetti carpet. And then this is, oh, my collections desk. This is kind of where, I don't know, I have like boring stuff in here, um, various office supplies, messy, tape and I don't know these little guys I'll give you a sneak peek of our candles these are gnome candles that Andy made and then I've got some cutie ones and I've got some Hello Kitty a couple of tarot decks and then around here these are some of my original Polly Pockets from the 90s and 80s I guess let's see and then I got this a Toy Joy, a little Sumiko Karashi. Look how cute that is. Eh, why won't you focus? I love them. And then I've got lots of kind of crystals and different stones and things because they make me happy. And these are from Koi Collection. Um, she's an amazing local ceramicist in Austin. And she always goes to um, Jen Perkins caftans and queso and then buy something every time because I can't help it and then again little twin stars because I love them look how cute look I made them hold hands and it's adorable okay and then these are just some fun gifts and things this belonged to my grandma my mom's mom it's a little wedding photo and some Harry Potter Legos Diagon Alley and cute Potter things and then maybe someday, see there's another, that's the medium little lino cat that I did. Maybe someday I'll take you on a full tour of these. I hope this is interesting. I love seeing other people's spaces, but I have so many toys and a lot of them have little stories. So if you want to hear more about all of these toys and where they came from and get a better look at them, let me know in the comments. And I am happy to share. That's my little... Leia's because I'm obsessed with Leia and there's some prints and stuff back there and then up here like these are my original ponies from the 90s I love my ponies and this is my big pink shelf some embroideries that I did again for my DIY blog back in the day Ooh, cheer bears all tipped over um, this is my original cheer bear from the 80s. I loved her. She was clearly well loved. <laughs> and this was from 
a re-release in the early 2000s. I think that one was from like the 20 year anniversary. <laughs> now we're on the like the 30 year anniversary. Um, but yeah, lots of little things. This little can was mine, my Barbie thing. But yeah, my Blythe dolls that I love. And then all the way up here, I have a few Potter things. I had to kind of restructure all my Harry Potter stuff and add, <laughs> I have a sword from Lord of the Rings. But yeah, I had to like, I had to reorganize a lot of the Harry Potter stuff because I had too many pops. Like, I had too many of those Funko Pops. And a lot of them were characters I didn't really care about. I just thought I would get them all. And then it got way too overwhelming because they put out so many. So now I just have all my Harrys and like my favorite ones displayed out in the living room. And um, I kept a couple up here. And I didn't really know where to put my sword. <laughs> I love Lord of the Rings and some friends of mine got that for me for my birthday one year and I like lost my mind. It was the best. <laughs> um, but yeah, I didn't know what to do with it. So it lives with Harry Potter now because I figured it fit. But all right, so that was my collection wall. And this is kind of like, where I pack things. Um, I'll take some pictures here. I don't know if I have a lot like my um, like my monthly pin club stuff. It's really easy to just put a couple of bins out here and, and crank them out instead of staying in the closet. So <laughs> I'll show you the closet in a second. But right now we're going to look at my desk desk. <laughs> you can see turkle bean. <laughs> is being a jerkle bean. But this is where I do all of my work. Two monitors I love and I just reorganized and I love it. I've got Venus and Sailor Moon. This is a vintage Sailor Moon from my friend Jennifer Perkins who I mentioned before. Just the coolest thing ever. Um, and then some fun stuff here. Oh, excuse you, you're erasing my to-do list. Get out of here. Turks. <laughs> He's like, why are you in my space? I had another blanket there that I had to move for the video and he's mad at me. Can you tell? <laughs> Sprinkles is here too. Hi, Sprink. Anyway, this is the desk. I have uh, some of my favorite we got some manga. We got actually cool thing. My husband is in a couple of these books. He's got a piece of art, I think, in the third book, and then he's actually drawn in as a character in the second book, which is really cool. Or it's vice versa. I forget. We'll have to ask him. Um, but all my craft magazines from way back in the day. <gasps> I just noticed these are out of order, and that is unacceptable. <laughs> and I've got some lum here. And then these are my books. If you have any questions about my books, I'm happy to go into um, more detail about some of these and talk about them. And these are some that are really special to me. These are my daddy's um, Lord of the Rings, which I loved, and then some of my most favorites as a kid. And uh, I really like this series by Jasper Ford. I read these on the Metro every day going to work in DC. I've got Chocolate Frog up here. And then Sailor Moon stuff. I was really happy with how the shelf turned out. So I was able to put so much up. I love Venus. She's my favorite. The Funko Pops were all, they were so heavy. They made their hair solid. So I have them like glued down and they're still too heavy. So I had to put them up against the wall so they didn't fall. But I really love, look at that little army of chibis. And then up here, I'm still kind of working on this, but it's all my like re-release ponies that I got excited for. And then some more Sailor Moon. I have my Sailor Moon wall, <laughs> uh, which I love. This is actually a purse that belonged to my grandmother, which I adored. Um, yeah, I made some little shadow boxes for my keychain things. This is by Sarah Cosico. These are by Nina of Me So Happy. Um, yeah, a couple of Miss Kikas. Fran. Love that. Another Nina. <laughs> My husband made this one for me. 
um, another Nina, and this one, I'll have to find the, um, I'll find the artists and put links down below so you know, but this was actually, I couldn't find anything to buy from her. I think this was just on her Tumblr, so I printed it out and I love it, but I'm going to link her down below and see, hopefully she has a shop now so you guys can support her, um, because I just thought it was hysterical. Um, and yeah, these are some fun stuff, and then I put like my to-do list, and this is kind of my monthly schedule now. I'm trying this out. Uh, so far, it's working okay. <laughs> um, and then I've just got some little pilly stuff on my desk, Sailor Moons, picture my daddy, and uh, his letter. And uh, I've got Emmons Sprout, little ceramics that I love, pictures of my dudes. <laughs> this is my actual tricorder from the 90s from uh, Star Trek. And it still works. It sounds like my childhood. <laughs> I loved it. I still love it. You could clip it to your pants. Take it with you. Um, okay. Anyway, moving on. You need to read this series of books by Jen Sincero. Start with this one. It will change your life. I love it. And then just some notebooks and brain dumps and stuff like that. And let's see. My son made this and I adore it. And this is just a giant thing of ponies that I don't know what to do with. And this belonged to my grandfather and my grandmother. And ooh, that's dusty. It's fine. And then I'm going to move on to, I've got <laughs> random Sumiko Garashi. So right here is my photo desk. And this is my little space. For that, I've got like backgrounds. These are all kinds of backgrounds. And then this is normally where the camera I'm using lives. <laughs> and just some fun little, few little props. I've got some stuff in here. Wacom tablet and some backgrounds. Same in here. I think I have a keyboard in here too, but just backgrounds and stuff. Keeping all that together. And I've got my foam core down here that I can use. And yeah, this is all just kind of back stock and packaging and stuff, but I think it's cute in my little pink boxes. So now we're going in. Ha ha! To. The inventory room so it's usually more exciting because I don't have a bunch of this is like crinkle fill stuff this is for the candles um, but yeah this is my how I organize all of my pens I have uh, <laughs> also Barbies um, but I have them all in these and I'll link these below you can get these little cardboard they're called pick bins you can get them in all kinds of sizes depths and heights and all that stuff uh, but I really like them you can just shove a pin in the front and be done with it they hold they hold just under they hold, they hold under a hundred packaged pins so if you're packaging them up um, and you have a hundred or two hundred that you're working with you're gonna want a couple of bins see like these I had to spread out into two I really like them. They're really flexible. I think they look really nice and consistent and stuff. So um, that is those and then extra stock there and then more stock up here <laughs> and then storage and such things I have to figure out where to put and display like my Polly Pocket. I can't decide if I want to take her out of the package or not but I love her. Okay, over here I've got all of the biodegradable bubble wrap you could possibly want. <laughs> and then all my eat -a bag inserts go there, and I've got some boxes for wholesale stuff. This was from LeakyCon, that was exciting. And then all of the t-shirts, and then greeting cards, and then this is the paper that I use and the stickers to wrap up my eat -a bags to protect them. 
And then we've got more stock. This is like jewelry and stickers and stuff. And then this is where I keep most of my, like more of my props and things. So like I've got all kinds of little things to have in photos. Ooh. Lots of backgrounds and boxes and bags. And there's actually pins on this <laughs> from the last photo I took on it. And then this is where all of my old packaging goes to die. So I don't use this stuff anymore, but I don't want to throw it away or recycle it just yet because I can use it for seconds. So anytime I have like packaging that I'm not using, I have to swap out or it's old or whatever. I just toss it in here and I use it for seconds. It's my own little reuse. But I've got new packaging in here, a little bit of gnome stuff back there. But yeah, I really like, I really like how this one came out. It's on recycled, recycled, it's on recycled stock. And, uh, and that's the back. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. But <laughs> now that I have changed my packaging, that means I get to swap out all of this. So that's going to be super fun. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what else is in here. Oh yeah, more old packaging. This is all going to be saved for seconds. And then I have my little plastic. This is really just for wholesale because a lot of wholesale places ask for plastic to keep product safe. So I got some with a little hang tag. We couldn't find a biodegradable one um, or a compostable one with hang tags. So it was kind of a bummer, but I'm still working on it. And then let's see over here, I have weird files. I don't even know what's in that. Um, and some Eda bags to grab. And this is what I package my little pins in. This is for my stuff and this is for gnomes. This has little freebie pins insert stuff. Um, I had to get more of these. Blurred. I'm coming out my ears. Um, and I have blocking bags for people who want those. This thing's really cool. I'll have to show you a video about this someday. This is a cool little thing to help take the backings, the little rubber backs off of your pens. It makes everything so much faster. And then I've got, oh, are you bored yet? I'm bored. I'm bored with myself. I've got envelopes. That's the word. <laughs> and all the envelopes you could need, plus more envelopes up there. And then I've got Eda bags up here too. And I put an extra light down here uh, just to make it a little bit more exciting. And then like paper. These are actually like my Barbies from when I was little. I don't know. I ended up with a lot of stuff. And then I've got all of the pins that I've made. These are ones for the shop. And these are three years worth of pin club. <laughs> and I love these. This is my first full year doing it just by myself instead of with, uh, instead of collaborating with artists. So that's fun. But yeah, that is, oh yeah, Kitten Wizard. Andy made that for me too. <laughs> and oh, I've got stickers here. So the stickers are in a little over shoe, a shoe thing. Okay, so this is happening, and now you have to see my sweet kittens. There's a girl. This is Sprinkles. And then this is Turks. Hi, Turks. Okay, so that was my studio. Um, be sure to ask me any questions down in the comments if there's anything you want to know more about. If you want to see uh, more details of my collections, I still need to do like a full on pin collection video. <laughs> if you don't think all of that is too massive and scary <laughs> for me to do a video about, let me know in the comments if you want to see it. I've also got my book collection and my Sailor Moon stuff. Anything that I showed in this video, I'm happy to go into more detail about in other videos. Just let me know what you want to see. And um, say goodbye to Turkle Bean. Turks! <laughs> um, and be sure to like and subscribe and all of that stuff.
shamelessly, shamelessly using my cats for likes. Can you subscribe? If you like pins and seeing studios and behind the scenes stuff like this, so I'll know that you'll like it and I can make more. And I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye.